there, I'm Nancy Moak, and I'd like to talk to you today about Doreen's purse. Okay, I think you can learn a lot about a woman by her purse. A purse tells a lot about a woman. For instance, here's my purse. It's a nice professional coat purse. Looks like I kind of have my stuff together a little bit. However, when you look inside, total mess. Okay? Not so much with Doreen's purse. This is the purse of someone who really has their stuff together. So you can see that it's a clear um, or a, a neutral black. It's easy to wipe off. It's an over the shoulder model. So it's very functional, uh, very um, purposeful. And there's also uh, lots of uh, nice little compartments to keep everything organized, okay? And I used to refer to this as Doreen's Wonder Purse because Doreen always seemed to have something in this purse to help somebody out. So she was always prepared for anything, always able to help anybody, and that was sort of the sole purpose of this purse. So let's see what was inside the purse. So ladies, if you want to create your own Wonder Purse, feel free to grab a pen and paper uh, because I have all the items right here and I'll list them for you. Oh, if you don't have a pen and paper, you're actually not up to Doreen's standards because the first thing she would have had was pen and paper so that she could always give people any information that they needed, be able to help people out, um, and she was always ready that way. She also, uh, for Marn, kept an organized uh, uh, photo album of Marcus. So you can see there's some cute little pictures of Marcus, and she would always have this available in her purse to show people. Um, so no worry to check through cell phones for pictures or anything. Doreen had everything all printed out, neatly organized. Doreen also had a list of all her important numbers here. So she's got all the important people and then um, all the important medical information there so that she had that all ready. She also had TIM cards. Um, so oftentimes she would give people a TIM's card if, if uh, as a gift. Uh, she'd offer people a TIM's card. Uh, also very efficient. That was another Doreen quality. Very, very efficient. Um, and then she always carried cash. And she had cash always in her little uh, brown envelopes. So she'd always have, you know, probably about 400 bucks in crisp 50s. And what she would do with the crisp 50s is if you invited her out for dinner uh, and it was time for the waiter or waitress to come, she would grab the 50s and she would just kind of cagey kind of like wave them at the waiter and try to pay the bill. So at one point I actually almost had to wrestle her to the ground in order to pay the own pay the bill and I was actually successful I was able to do it but that was one thing she was very very generous always tried to pay the bill even when you invited her um, she also had a number of little items here like for instance and I borrowed all these items she has this cute little bag so it's a nice it's an extra little shopping bag so if you are like myself and not organized and get out and you're holding all kinds of crap and trying to balance everything oh she's got a cute little shopping bag to help you out she also had her cell phone which I myself did personally borrow from her at one point. She actually offered, my car died, she actually offered to drive me for my job interview and then handed me her phone so that I could call her at home back for the pickup. Um, she also had a number of items for a quick little fix up. So she was always very clean, neat, organized that way. So she always had her Kleenex, her comb, um, you know, it's always touched up her hair, her hair. Her hair to me always looked perfect, but she always, like to touch up her hair. Um, some mints so she could always offer someone a mint. Uh, nail file in case you ever need a little manicure. Of course wipes. Many a times I had to borrow those to wipe my kids when they were filthy. Um, hand, hand moisturizer just in case you need some. And a little mirror. So she has this is a little mirror. You guys can take my word for it. Here it is. Yeah, little mirror. Also, um, hand sanitizer, another item I borrowed from her many, many times uh, for myself and for my children who would get quite grubby. Um, so there's that section. Then I have what I call <sighs> Doreen the nurse section. So in this bag is actually a full first aid kit. So I'll take a little look in here and see what we got. We have, yeah, like full gauze, gloves, band-aids, triangular bandage, um, alcohol wipes, everything you need to help someone, always a nurse uh, 
who might be in need. Um, she also had the watch here with the second hand so that she could take somebody's bolts and a pair of scissors because you never know when you might need to have to cut somebody's pants off in order to do some first aid dressing or something like that, right? So anyway, she has all that. Then she had what I call the um, tool section of her purse. So in the tool section, she had measuring tape, little screwdriver in case she had to fix her glasses, magnifying glass, a little flashlight, and interestingly enough, and I just found this actually, a little deck of cards. So it should be noted that um, survival experts would indicate that if Doreen was actually lost in the wilderness with the use of the mirror and the flashlight and signal as a signaling device, she could be rescued within 24 hours. And she could also use a little deck of cards to keep herself amused and use the magnifying glass to start a fire to keep herself warm. So always the brown owl, Doreen was always ready for anything. And I was always together with her trusty wonder purse. Thank you.